Every year at Congregation, UBC has the honor of bestowing honorary degrees upon individuals who, in the opinion of the university community, have fit the criteria of excellence and eminence in their chosen field. Chief Sophie Pierre is one of those individuals, and I invite her now to step forward to receive her honorary degree. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, when Sophie Pierre was three years old, living in the Kootenays, her grandfather gathered his people together to determine who would succeed him as chief. Little did she know, sitting there listening to her grandfather, that one day she too would follow in his footsteps as chief, on her way to becoming one of Canada's most accomplished Aboriginal leaders. Chief Pierre currently holds the challenging position of chief commissioner, of the BC Treaty Commission, where she works to resolve contentious land claims negotiations. Prior to that, she was the elected chief of the St. Mary's Indian Band for 30 years, spent more than 25 years on the Tunaha Kinbasket Tribal Council, and served as co-chair of the First Nations Summit. Chief Pierre was instrumental in the creation of the St. Eugene Mission Resort Hotel on the traditional land of her people outside of Cranbrook, BC. Once a residential school, this redeveloped facility is now an important multi-million dollar economic, driver of economic growth in her community, helping to transform a painful past into a source of pride and independence. UBC has a long history of Aboriginal education programming, and Chief Pierre has been one of its great supporters. She was instrumental in the creation and continued success of the Chinook Program, a business and mentoring initiative for young Aboriginal entrepreneurs at UBC. Chief Pierre, who Assembly of First Nations Chief Sean Atlio has called an amazing woman and leader, has served on numerous boards and is a recipient of both the Order of British Columbia and the National Aboriginal Achievement Award. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, for these and other contributions to Aboriginal people across the nation and for enriching the lives of all Canadians, I ask you to grant the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Chief Sophie Pierre. By authority of the Senate of this university, I hereby confer upon you, Sophie Pierre, the title and degree, Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Thank you. 
it gives me great pleasure to now ask Dr. Pierre to say a few words. Students, graduates, I guess you're not students anymore, you're graduates now. Family, university family. I'm very, very touched, I'm very, very moved today to have been asked to be part of this ceremony, to have this honor presented to me. And I'm very, very pleased to accept it in the spirit that it has been offered for achievements throughout a lifetime. But in particular to the graduates, I want to tell you that each of us as individuals, that we can do many things, but we can be even better when we work together. And so I'm also accepting this recognition today from this great institution, this great institution of knowledge. I'm accepting this recognition today, also on behalf of my Kturaka nation. Our people have gone through many, many challenges, not the least of which was the history through the residential school. But as a people, we have always taken on challenges that come forward and work together and made the choice. We made the choice ourselves to take something that was negative in our past and turn it into something positive for our future generations. And that's the message that I leave with you. Congratulations today. You have reached a milestone. You set yourself a goal and you've reached it. You're graduating. You're going off and doing many, many different and wonderful things. You're all pretty, everybody here looks really, really young. You're all young. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want to share with you something that I'm sure that your parents, your aunties and uncles and grandmothers would be telling you, will be telling you. I see them here celebrating with you. Know who you are, each and every one of you as you go forward. Know that you are a unique, powerful individual and that the potential you have will always only be limited by the choices you make. I, along with your family, the people who love you, I'm looking forward because I know that you will make fabulous choices and that together that we will continue into a future where all Canadians walk together, where all Canadians can feel proud of who they are and that we, you, my grandchildren, that you will continue to make this a great country. Thank you so much for this honor. I'm touched. Thank you.